Coming to you from the brand new Pixar Palace Park Instructor, I'm Mark Canterpay. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to a brand new episode of TAST. And this is going to be the review of Spider-Man Far From Home. <laughs> You can barely see who it is, but the fedora down there, that's Alex the Historian! Sup, buddy? Spider-Man Far From Home. Now, I... Yesterday was the first day it came out, and I didn't notice it. So much to the point that I thought it was already out for already a week. Because that's what it felt like. But it came out yesterday because of the 4th of July holiday. And I'm going to try to make this as spoiler-free as possible, but how can I? It's, it's such a fun movie. Almost immediately, the effects of the snap already take place. But they don't call it the snap, surprisingly. They call it the blip. The blip. But the way that they portrayed it in the movie was top-notch. It's pretty funny. The scenes where the high school um, TV thing takes place is absolutely cringeworthy, which makes it very funny. And again, right off the bat, that Marvel logo, that Marvel logo set to the tune of I Will Always Love You, nice touch, as this is the first, this is the first Marvel film after the events of Endgame, and the way that they portrayed it is just hilarious. Oh man, this is so hard. How can I do this without saying what, like, without spoiling? It's hard. It's it's tough. And now there are now while the humor is spread throughout, there have been several instances where. It's kind of confusing, especially in the villain battle scenes. Um, it kind of gets a little bit confusing the way that at least they portray it. Regardless, this is probably one of the smartest villains that we've ever seen in a Marvel movie. The end credits scene was pretty damn good. Featuring a cameo from J. Jonah Jameson from the, the news guy from the original. Tobey Maguire trilogy, but there's an under there's an interesting tone here, where it says it's essentially there's a theme of fake news. It's very interesting. Um, you don't believe what you see or hear, or something like that, and twisting the words of oneself. And if you look at Especially at the very end, like that, the first, the mid credit scene. That one is... Wow. And I wish I could say more about it, but I don't want to. You're just going to have to watch it for yourself, but it's... It's interesting. It's... Mm. I, I, I can't stop thinking about it because it's like... Oh. I will say this though, I'll spoil this one thing. MJ knows he's Spider-Man. Um, and it, it's revealed closer to the end of the movie, but you know, MJ knows. And I believe she knew for a while, especially back in the events of Homecoming. Um, at least that's what she says. Um, I will say, this is a lot of sexual innuendo that happened in this movie, and I was like, okay, this is going to be one of these movies now, but, you know, it was pretty fun, it was pretty good, um, it kind of got a little bit iffy with the confusing scenes, but overall, 10 out of 10 would go far from home again. That's going to be it for today. I'm Mark Canopy. Thank you for watching. I'm going to go home and... No, I'm not going to go home. I'm going to go over Hello, across everyone. the street to the Thanks new AMC Garden Walk 6. 
that replaces the original downtown Disney AMC here. And we're going to watch Toy Story 4. I was supposed to watch it yesterday, but I was late to the movie. And apparently, I'm most likely going to be the only one watching that at that time slot. Which is very, very interesting. And very, very lonely. And very, very sad. You know how sad? Three strollers sad at Small World. Once again, thank you for watching. I'm Mark Canapé. We will be back with another episode this week. Um, with that being said, have a happy and safe 4th of July holiday. Enjoy the rest of this weekend. So long.